But you gotta be brave enough to step into the ring. Put your guard up and fly back. Ladies and gentlemen, the car market has officially crashed. Tens of millions of Americans and Canadians alike are giving back their keys and their car note back to the dealership. There are huge reputable dealerships that are closing down because it is costing them more money to keep the dealership open than close, y'all. This shit is literally over. Check it out. My truck is 85000 This truck is 90000 And I'm a used car dealer. And here at these car auctions, we're seeing auto loan delinquencies and repossessions spike. Yes, so guys, John here. Tens of millions of Americans are opting out of car ownership, giving the keys back to the lender they can no longer for these payments. Americans now falling behind on their car payments. The average monthly payment for a new vehicle right now is $750. Oh no, $47,000 for this little unit. Where are they going to put them? Where? Where? There's nowhere. No empty spaces. It is full to the brim. And look, $85,000 that's getting out of hand. And the consumer right now, with everything costing so much, they are not able to keep up with their payments. So what happens? They lose their cars. These are the places that you're not going to hear about on the mainstream media, but are just completely going out of business. And by default, those people lose their jobs. And if you're wanting to buy one of these big SUVs or nice trucks right now, it's not going to be anywhere close to $750 a month. You're going to have to pay way more than that. $118,000, folks, hundred and eighteen dollars Wow, no words. Clearly, the market is broken. This truck right here is $96,000. So check this out. This is a full row of eighty dollars and $90,000 F-150s. That is getting out of hand. There are so many auto loan delinquencies in the system right now that there are not enough tow truck drivers to service all of these lending institutions to get their cars back. And repossessed cars are the worst of the worst. They're dirty. They're nasty. They have parts falling off of them because the consumer knows if they're going to lose their car, why take care of it? And I personally think we're going to walk into the biggest auto loan and auto market crisis we have ever before seen. The other big thing I'm noticing at the moment is just seeing big dealerships disappearing. As soon as the values of cars came down, there just isn't the money left there anymore and they're all defaulting and having to go through a bankruptcy. So prices are so high that consumers are having to push out their loans to 72, 84 months to even be able to afford any of these vehicles. But look, this is a Wrangler four-door sport 4x4. Four four. $66,000. That's absolutely lunacy. Clearly, the whole Canadian market is upside down. Vehicles are not selling. There's way too much inventory. Ford Mavericks that you couldn't find anywhere. Look behind me. There are nine of them sitting here for sale. Dealerships, even the Ford Mavericks, stuff that was so hot that you couldn't find anywhere, is still, right now, sitting on dealership lots, not selling. In 2022, CNBC reported that inflation was costing the average family $433 a month. Then, the next year, $709 a month. Now, they're saying it's $11,000 a year, almost $1,000 a month. And it's no wonder why the American consumer is having such a hard time right now. The average American doesn't have $500 in their savings account for an emergency. So it's so bad right now, even the most affordable vehicles on these dealership lots have to be marked down because people can't afford them. See right here, this says was $38,000, but after your rebates, after your discounts, now they're selling it for thirty dollars and they still can't move these things. And even though I have $2,500, $3,000, and $3,500 cars sitting on my lot, we are still slow. Two months ago, we would have been incredibly busy with those kind of prices, but we're seeing that the demand from the consumer is drying up. Even, even for $3,500 cars, people cannot afford to buy them right now. So right here, here's how we know it's bad. This Ford Explorer, the MSRP, is $46,000. But now they have it discounted. Advertised, they have it discounted for $39,000. This has not happened in the last three years where a dealership is actually advertising under MSRP on their lot. This hasn't been happening. You know it's bad when these dealerships are coming out and advertising under MSRP. The thing is, I used to be a car salesman, so I know exactly what they're talking about. And literally, this thing is over. People barely have enough money to feed their family or for emergency. And you're talking about buying a new car or a used car at that, y'all? Come on. This shit's over, man. Cars should have been free in the first place. The way that they are manufacturing these vehicles, you would think they'd be giving away these things for free. You know, they're badly built. You know what I'm saying? They're literally moving tons of plastic. 
which is literally a ticking time bomb. Think of the components that your car composed of, you know what I'm saying? You get in an accident, you know, things can be bad. So yeah, things that, that should be for free, literally off the rip. And look at that, greed is their downfall and they're not moving any vehicles. So this video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during this interesting time. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Peace out. Let me tell you why not to pour one out for fucking Route 21. First and foremost, if you're new here, please watch all of my old videos because they owe me $23,100. Here's how they handled the bankruptcy. Some of this information I just found out today. One, the CEO, Josh, he fucking, he let himself go a week before. His office was cleaned out by Monday and no one knew what the fuck was happening until Thursday. He was gone. Two, on Wednesday, they sent out an email to all of the employees in the office at like 2.33 o'clock. And they said, we have a maintenance issue. We need to get you out of the building immediately. Do you want to know what was actually happening? All of those high paid execs that were friends with Josh, except for the CIO, the like head of IT, um, they were all at Napa Steakhouse. Excuse me. I literally just had to look up the name of it because I don't have enough money to go there. Um, Napa Prime Steakhouse. Yeah, um, they were at the Napa Prime Steakhouse while their employees were just sitting at home wondering if they were about to be blindsided and lose their jobs. And who do you think was paying the fucking tab? Do you think they paid it for themselves? Or do you think they just added it to the bankruptcy tab? These men knew for three fucking weeks that they were going to lay off all of their employees. Some of them have worked there for 30 plus years. And they were enjoying a nice steak dinner while everyone was fucking scrambling and then receiving an email that they were gonna have a 9 a.m. town hall meeting. Do you want to know what happened once the town hall meeting happened? Josh, the CEO, the one that let, just let himself out the door, um, they played a pre-recorded video of him saying, hey guys, yeah, um, we're actually filing bankruptcy. So as of right now, I don't have a job anymore. Um, send an email if you're confused. This meeting started at 9 a.m. It was over by 9.03. Every person lost their job in three minutes to a pre-recorded video. That man couldn't even fucking face them on Zoom. I'm gonna throw this conspiracy out there because I've heard it a couple times, but the company that bought Route 21 is called Blue Torch. It's an investment company. And you know who's best friends with Blue Torch? Josh, the CEO that they hired in one year ago that pays himself $1.2 million a year. And you know what's fucking weird about that? He ran it into the ground. Does that not seem like a really good way to offload a business that you don't want to fucking deal with. Put them bitches into bankruptcy in a year, one year. But he saved DNC, he saved Abercrombie. Guys, when I tell you, I'm collecting my notes. We're gonna have a couple part series on Josh. I'm just doing my due diligence right now. Um, but that's a tea from today. I will be keeping you guys updated. I am traveling for work this weekend, so it might be a little slow out here, but um, stay tuned. It's coming. Give that a little, give a little follow. Also, like, finally, thank you so much. The shit, one of these videos went viral. The Pittsburgh News KDKA did, like, a little segment today on Rue, but they did not talk about the freelancers that were not paid or, like, the modeling agencies that were not paid. I, the small people that they owe money to and I want this shit to make national fucking news like I want to make sure that these fucking high powered executives don't go into other businesses and ruin them and leave people like me who have been financially stable for 36 fucking years um asking for money that they that they are owed to them twenty thousand dollars that they are owed to them so we need to cut this shit off at the balls because this is the fucking power of the internet and it is so important that we use it for this so like Share, save, like, fucking follow me. Like, I am spilling the fucking tea until we all get our bag. That we earned because we worked there. Thank you.